To the winner by split decision from Ukraine, Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk has finally become the undisputed heavyweight boxing champion after defeating Tyson Fury by split decision. But when asked about his future plans, Usyk revealed that he wants to retire. He said he has found so much joy in boxing, but now feels it's time to end his career and focus on other things. The decision to retire comes from Usyk's desire to keep his record undisputed. He doesn't want to risk destroying it because such a legacy will go down in history. After this, I may want to retire. I love fighting. When I fight, I can't help but feel excited. But I think this is where it ends for me. I want my record to be undisputed forever, Usyk said. His coach and team respected this decision, even though they felt Usyk still had more to prove and more fighters to conquer. They agreed with Usyk that retiring as an undisputed champion is a huge achievement. They believe that in this generation of boxers, only Usyk can accomplish something like this. We believe in his decision, said his coach. Usyk has given everything to this sport. While we think he could continue to dominate, retiring as an undisputed champion is a rare and remarkable feat. His team also emphasized that such a legacy is significant and will be remembered in boxing history. In today's boxing world, it's hard to find someone like Usyk. His dedication, skill, and sportsmanship set him apart, another team member added. Now, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, both undefeated at ages 35 and 37, gave the people an exciting showdown. They've each held all the championship titles, which made this match highly anticipated. This fight between two heavyweight champions has fulfilled its promise to be a thrilling battle that fans didn't miss. Round one starts with Usyk landing a couple of rights to Fury's body. Fury counters with a jab to Usyk's body and attempts an uppercut. Fury starts to faint, trying to throw Usyk off. But Usyk lands another punch to Fury's chest and backs him into a corner. Fury tries to play it cool, but Usyk keeps jabbing to the body. Oh, big overhand left from Usyk. Fury says, pound me again. Back, they left the hands where they were. You cannot do that against Usyk. In round two, Usyk starts strong with a left hand off the jab, exciting his fans. He follows up with a right to Fury's body, keeping Fury on the defensive. Usyk's right jab to the body is effective, though Fury lands a stiff jab in return. Fury tries an uppercut, but can't find his mark. Usyk connects a left to Fury's chin and continues jabbing to the body, finding his rhythm. Fury responds with a solid body shot and an uppercut to the ribs. Usyk presses forward, having another good round while Fury is satisfied with his body shots. Oh! Usyk again! Wait, as Fury reported. Good body shot. Smile there from Usyk. And then a right hand from Fury hasn't landed many of those. Lovely jab. Shot there from Alexander Usyk. Round six is intense. Usyk takes a moment to recover after a right uppercut to his body. Fury loosens up and lands a powerful right that wobbles Usyk. A big uppercut hurts Usyk, who seems to be in survival mode. Fury taunts Usyk with his hands behind his back and lands another hit right before the bell, making it a big round for the Gypsy King. As the fight progresses, things get worse. By round nine, Fury's nose is a mess, and he seems a bit disorganized compared to earlier rounds. Usyk lands a short, chopping hook to Fury's jaw after targeting his body. Fury retaliates with a lovely right, but Usyk strikes back with a huge left hook that leaves Fury in a daze. The referee gives Fury an eight count as his eyes dart around and his legs seem to fail him, suggesting the ropes are the only thing keeping him up. It's the glamour division of boxing, and these guys are not In round 11, Usyk maintains pressure on a wobbly Fury. Despite Fury's counter right, Usyk keeps attacking with combinations. A right hook from Usyk drives Fury back to the ropes, followed by a strong right lead. To seal the round, Usyk lands a powerful overhand left. After an intense fight in round 12, 
Usyk emerges as the victor. He earns two cards with scores of 115, 112 from Manuel Oliver Palomo, and 114, 113 from Mike Fitzgerald, while Fury secures the third card with a score of 114, 113 from Craig Metcalf. After the fight, Usyk was interviewed and asked about the outcome of the fight. He said he was confident that this fight was his chance to prove he's the greatest, and he was focused on making that happen. He knew that winning against Fury would be a huge achievement and would show everyone that he is truly the best. He even said that Fury is the best opponent he has ever faced. He respects Fury's skills and accomplishments, acknowledging that Fury brings a unique challenge to the ring. Before their fight, Usyk already wasn't making things easy for Fury. He managed to find weaknesses, and during the grand arrivals, Usyk and his team called Tyson nervous and skinny. Tyson did look long and lean with a sharp jawline, which has caught everyone's attention. Some people thought his new look affected his performance, while others believed it was part of his strategy. Now, Lennox Lewis is thrilled to hand over the title of undisputed champion to the winner of the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk fight. As the last undisputed world heavyweight champion, Lewis is ready to pass on his mantle. He's excited that the winner, Alexander Usyk, is now the first undisputed heavyweight champion of the four belt era. Lewis has been waiting for this moment and is glad to see someone finally achieve what he did. The fight at the sold out Kingdom Arena is historic and Lewis is proud to be part of it by recognizing the new champion. He believes that Usyk's victory marks a new era in boxing, solidifying his place in history. The excitement surrounding the fight is immense and Lewis shares his enthusiasm. He understands the significance of being the undisputed champion and is happy to see Usyk take on this prestigious title. For Lewis, this passing of the torch is a momentous occasion, celebrating both the past and the future of heavyweight boxing. Lennox Lewis retired in 2004 as one of the heavyweight boxing legends, leaving behind a legacy that has been admired by many. Now, he's filled with excitement as he watches the potential for his career pinnacle to be matched by one of the new generation of fighters. This moment is incredibly special. To see another fighter reach the same heights, he did brings a sense of pride and fulfillment. Lewis can't help but feel a surge of excitement. He knows the significance of this moment, not just for the fighters involved, but for the sport of boxing as a whole. Passing on the torch is a symbolic gesture, and this marks the transition from one era to the next. Usyk winning this match is a reason to celebrate. Being the undisputed champion is a big deal that shouldn't be kept quiet, but shared with the whole world. He leaves as the undisputed champion, but he has achieved a feat that few boxers ever accomplish. On the other hand, it's sad news that he has given his recent announcement of retiring. It may be sad to see such a talented and entertaining fighter is hinting to hang up his gloves, but will Usyk make true of his words about retiring? What do you think? Please comment down below.